Polymerase chain reaction, PCR, is a method for amplifying specific fragments of DNA. During assay setup, prior to thermal cycling, as PCR reactions sit at room temperature, nonspecific amplification can occur and lead to PCR failure. To avoid nonspecific amplification, several methods known as hot start PCR have been developed that suppress PCR enzymatic activity until the first denaturation step has been accomplished. Hot start PCR methods accomplish this by making modifications to the DNA polymerase to block amplification and remain inactive until higher temperatures are reached. Common modifiers to the DNA polymerase include chemical, antibody, or aptamer-based mechanisms. In a PCR reaction, you have your template, which contains the target sequence that you are interested in. You also need primers, DNTPs, and hot start DNA polymerase of your choosing. A hot start DNA polymerase will remain inactive at room temperature because a hot start enzyme has been added. Therefore, you don't have to worry about your amplification starting before entering the thermocycler. Denaturation is the first step in the PCR reaction. The thermocycler heats up to roughly 95 degrees Celsius, which causes the double-stranded DNA helix to melt open into two single-stranded DNA templates. Simultaneously, the heat from this step also activates the DNA polymerase, hence hot start. During the annealing step, the temperature cools between 45 to 65 degrees Celsius, and the single-stranded primers attach to the appropriate ends of the target sequence. During the cycle, DNA polymerase attaches to the primed template and begins to incorporate complementary nucleotides. Finally, during extension, the temperature slightly rises to 65 to 75 degrees Celsius. DNA polymerase extends the sequence-specific primer with the incorporation of nucleotides that are complementary to the DNA template. After repeating the denaturation, annealing, and extension cycles approximately 35 to 40 times, replication is complete and the newly generated double-stranded DNA may be used for post-amplification analysis. PCR reagents must provide consistent and specific high-yield amplification of your DNA. By using hot start PCR methods, you can benefit from reduced nonspecific amplification, increased target yield, and enhanced sensitivity. Because hot start methods vary on levels of fidelity, speed, and convenience, we recommend using our PCR selection guide and our technical support team to select what products are right for you at sigmaaldrich.com slash PCR.